Frankie's on me because I'm not dressed up for the video. This is how I cook. I'm home. I wear pajama bottoms and a hoodie if I have to, okay? Um, coffee jello. Yeah, coffee Shh. jello. Do you hear Schnucky? Even he loves it. You take a half a cup of really, really cold coffee. You put it into a bowl. Then you're going to add two envelopes of unflavored gelatin. <laughs> okay, Schnucky, it'll be ready soon. You're gonna mix this up and you're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. And while this is setting, you're gonna heat up three cups of coffee. By the way, look at this, isn't this pretty? Sonia, second chance around, sent me a cake for my birthday. How pretty is that, right? Mm, isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Thank you, Sonia, I love that so much. But you can't eat it. No, you can't eat it. It's a flower cake, not flower, oh you are. W. Now look what it looks like after it's set for 10 minutes. Look, isn't that creepy? It's like creepy, right? So after this is set up for 10 minutes, you're gonna add the three cups of hot coffee. You're gonna add a half a cup of sugar. I use Splenda. I don't use sugar, I use Splenda because that's what I use in my coffee anyway. But you can, you can use sugar, it doesn't have to be. And a pinch of salt and you're gonna incorporate this until it's all dissolved. After it's all dissolved, you pour it into a baking dish and you're gonna let this cool and set in the refrigerator for about four hours, I think. Well, you, know, you can usually tell when Jell-O is done. You know, you don't have to make this with coffee. You can use tea, you can use any beverage, really. If the beverage is sugared already, I wouldn't add the sugar. But you can make this any way you want. Instead of the half a cup of cold coffee, you can also add a half, half a cup of Kahlua for those that like it a little tangy. <laughs> With a little cake, you could a little use snap. Green tea. <laughs> green tea is nice you and chai. Serve it after Chinese food. Oh, that's nice. That's a good idea, Frankie. Yeah, after Chinese food, that would be lovely. You could drop little little kumquats in it. Mmm, kumquats. Yeah, so let's put this in the fridge now and we'll come back four or five hours later and see how this coat tastes. If it pours out of the pan, it's not done. Okay, it's ready. I cut it into little cubes and I'm serving it in a lovely martini glass. Now normally I make fresh whipped cream, but I want to get rid of these cans of whipped cream, so. And you have to have this with whipped cream. You have to. There's no two ways about that. Let's see how this tastes. It's good. I love the jello. It's so good. You have to try this. You have to. Make it with tea if you don't want to use coffee. And if you want, you could, like I said, instead of Splenda, you can use regular sugar. It's really good. You want to try it, Frankie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is that? Mm. It's really good, right? Good. And it's so light, right? Mmm. Mm. That's good. I'll take a whip. You leave me? No, I'm taking it with me. Bye. I bam once. Look. They like it. Princess Die, you know you have a crush on me. Can we just come out? Just can we just get that out in the open? Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Give me a little birthday kiss. You give me a little birthday kiss. <laughs> As if.